Hello Ringlets, it is Rich here from Green Ring Gaming and welcome to a brand new show. As you can see, I've got my tea ready, I've got my biscuits ready. Hmm, what could that mean? That can only mean one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the inaugural edition of Tea and Biscuits with Rich. And let me start off just by quickly having a cup of sip of tea. Ah, that is good. So, what the hell is this show about? Is it just me sitting here drinking some tea and eating some custard creams? No, no, it's not about that at all. The idea of this show, ladies and gentlemen, is so that I can get to answer some of your questions and you can get to know me personally a little bit more. And uh, hopefully it can become a bit of a, well, I want to say fan interaction. Uh, when I could possibly get some more fans, <laughs> but I have a few at the moment, so that's great. So I'm going to get straight into just quickly saying thank you very much um, to all my subscribers. I have about uh, 1,283 at present, and it is very nice to see you all active, asking me questions, asking me to do this and that. I just want to also say that I am very sorry for falling behind on my schedule this week. At present, I'm rendering a video um, for Wednesday. Um, World's Worst Games will be out. And the live play on Twitch, which was on, uh, if you didn't know, I played live on Twitch yesterday, um, Friday night, 9pm UK time. And um, the video I taken from twitch.tv forward slash green ring gaming will be up shortly on YouTube as well. So uh, you got that to look forward to as well. And yeah, basically, <laughs> Tea and Biscuits with Rich is just going to be a way to help for you guys get to know me a little bit better because you know that I play video games, but you don't know a lot about me. So, I've taken the liberty of asking a whole load of you guys out there um, some questions. I don't have many this week, however, um, underneath the comments to this video, it would be really helpful if you could write all your questions that you want to ask me. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Ask away, I'll write it down in here and I'll include your name somewhere on the screen and what it says and we'll go from there and I'll make the format better week by week. So, starting with my first question. Uh, my first question today comes from one of my good friends, Steve Evans. I used to work with him at Morrison Supermarket. So shout out to you, Steve. Um, and he said, uh, who in gaming inspires you and where do you want to be? Now, that is a very, very good question. Um, who in gaming inspires me? Um, I mean, in terms of... Uh, YouTubers, obviously the obvious choice is going to be to a lot of people is going to be PewDiePie, but I wouldn't necessarily say that he inspires me, I just really like his videos. My inspiration in gaming comes from stories, um, not necessarily one developer or one person. My inspiration actually, yeah, that's a good answer. My inspiration comes from a lot of different sources. The kind of games, I will play mostly any games, but something that I can snap into and quickly get the hang of, something like FIFA football or soccer for you Americans, it's very easy for me to concentrate. Uh, for a lot of people out there that don't know, I have ADD, so it's easy to concentrate on some things that I like but it's harder to concentrate on things that I don't like so yeah my inspirations like my personality are from all over the place so lots of different inspirations um, you know the GTA series is inspiring um, youtubers I find inspiring people like PewDiePie KSI's videos um, other other people. I think Ray William Johnson actually inspired me a little bit. If you if you look at my background there, actually, um, he has a kind of comic strip background. And the idea, well, I'm going off on a tangent here, but the original YouTube channel I had was called Rich T Rants, and that was a comedy channel. And I thought I could be a good comedian, but it turns out I'm not a good comedian because I can't make stuff up. I'm good at impressions, I'm told. 
but that was the idea about getting into YouTube and then it was wrestling I wanted to do something with wrestling and then I thought you know what I'm gonna make a gaming channel so there we go anyway I hope that answers your question Steve anyway the next question is from revealing soul he says what video brought traffic to your channel now interestingly enough the video that has brought the most traffic to my channel is my HD PVR2 setup um, I showed people how to set it up with their PC I showed people how to set it up with an Xbox 360 did a little demonstration and that has uh, it's a how-to video you see and uh, that will bring you a lot of views guys if you are aspiring youtubers um, make videos on how to do something um, let's say like for instance I am good at ultimate team I'm good at buying and selling I haven't yet done a video on a tutorial but if I was to do a tutorial on it I think it would get good views because when you're good at something and you show people how to be good at that then people are going to watch it because people want to be good like you so find something that you're good at this will bring traffic to your channel guaranteed find something that you're good at first and foremost my first videos were FIFA do that and then make a how-to video some kind of tutorial you're bound to get a lot of people um, watching your videos then so I hope that answers your question the next question from A2XITT he says do you play Gears of War? Um, well, I have played the first Gears of War many years ago when it came out. The boss battle kind of sucked. Hang on, I'm going to have some tea here. And what's tea without a custard cream, eh? Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Tea's getting cold there, guys. That's to you. So, I played Gears of War 1. Um, I kind of... Um, I skipped Gears of War 2. And then I completed Gears of War 3. I'm not the biggest fan. However, I loved the Horde mode on the Gears of War 3. Gears of War Judgment? Haven't even picked it up. Haven't even looked at it. But they took Horde mode out. Not happy about that. So... Maybe I will never play it, but I hear it's a very good game. So I hope that answers your question, buddy. One of my biggest ringlets, Cody C, says, "What do you think about this image?" All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this image quickly and uh, see what he's talking about. Okay, so what do I think of this picture? Hmm, uh, Swagrid, yeah, <laughs> Third Life. All right, Harry. <laughs> We's going down to where uh, Gryffindor common room to go and get the bitches. <laughs> I think it's a really funny picture, Cody C. Uh, thank you very much for sending that one in. Um, it's a good idea, you guys. Give me some, um, give me some pictures to look at, things that I can react to. It's uh, it's always a good way to uh, make me laugh. Um, so I hope that answers your question. It's very good. Albert McVeigh, 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 one of my biggest ringlets, asks, how do you get good content all of your fans like? Well, it's important to um, drink a cup of tea. Yummy. Um, it's really important to make sure that you are diverse. Um, for instance, I like FIFA, and I think that Black Ops is okay, but you guys might be surprised by this, but it's certainly not one of my favorite games. Um, Skyrim is one of my favorite games, um, and games of that nature. But um, I'm mediumly good at Black Ops, and it's a popular game, so I will play it. Not, I'm not saying that I don't like Black Ops, I'm just saying that it's important to play the games that you feel comfortable playing, but it is important to play games that are current or going to garner some interest um, yeah it's important to make sure that what you are doing you are passionate about as well it's really important to be passionate about a gaming channel if you want to start one um, and then people will watch your videos like I know so many out there that do Minecraft videos now Minecraft is popular on its own so you will get some views but 
there are so many, there's probably millions, I don't know, millions of Minecraft videos on YouTube. So I do Minecraft videos myself, but I don't make a song and dance about Minecraft. And I'm a gaming channel, so I don't make a song and dance really about any games. Um, FIFA I play a lot, but I am good at FIFA, so I enjoy it. So make sure that you bring something different to the table each time and have a schedule like I'm struggling to keep to my schedule right now but people know Sunday nights at least it's this week in gaming people know I'm gonna look for that show and you will start to get more and more views um, you know things are dying down for me at the moment but things will pick up as long as I stick to a schedule the more I stick to a schedule the more people will come back the next time that enjoyed the last episode and then you will start to get people talking about that and you won't even have to message people on YouTube or do what I did early on I added a lot of contacts um, I know it's frowned upon but I added a lot of contacts and the people that would say why are you adding me as a contact would then go on my channel and say well it's good anyway so thank you um, but you have to be careful not to spam people but anyway make sure you have a lot of different content and a lot of diff good content don't bring out tons of videos that have no quality it would be better to do only a few videos a week of great quality than lots of videos a week with poor quality hope that answers your question there buddy and Wade Carpenter great friend on Twitter and he's one of my ringlets as well so shout out to you Wade Wade says what made you decide to start a channel and what got you into gaming initially? I saved the pick of the bunch till last, didn't I? Well, Wade, um, what made me decide to start a channel? Well, I've started to branch out more a lot in the last few years, playing more MMOs, playing more PC games, uh, playing different types of games, and all of a sudden, like in my older age, and 24, I've started to mature as a gamer and I think I've really opened my mind to different possibilities like where indie games have always been there they've been out years and years I've opened my eyes a lot more like for instance I played Limbo the other day which is an indie game that I downloaded quite some time ago but never really got around to properly playing it and I played it for hours and I really enjoyed it so I think the reason I started the gaming channel is because I have the enthusiasm, I have the passion, um, I'm competitive, I like winning, and I like showing people, um, I like sharing my experiences with you. And I feel inspired by people, and if I can help inspire you, like for instance the, um, the guy, shout out to you, uh, Joey D. Maria, his brother was involved in the Boston bomb attacks um, and he broke his legs. And just from me shouting out Jason's name in a video, they said that, you know, no troll in here. They said that um, they cried and he was in his hospital bed and his morale was much better after seeing my video. Things like that. I want to inspire people but things like that is going to inspire anyone to keep going so if even just for you guys and all of you um, that were involved in the Boston um, bombings um, my heart goes out to you and your families and um, you know that kind of thing it just makes me want to keep going and keep you know inspiring people and doing what I can if I can put a smile on one person's face then you know that's me happy so there, I hope that answers that part of the question. And what got me into gaming initially? Well, as far back as I, I can remember, I played Mario on the old grey brick um, Game Boy, if any of you guys remember that, the small Game Boy. My sister Caroline um, was a gamer, really, at that time. Uh, in our early teens and um, yeah she used to play on that I think I played Turtles, Ninja Turtles on that what really got me into gaming was the Master System um, my sister had the original Sonic the Hedgehog I played that um, the first game I completed was actually the Tasmanian Devils game on the Master System I don't know if you guys have heard of that but I completed that as a kid and I remember feeling a real reward for completing a game. Um, after that, 
I played with a Mega Drive uh, 2 and then it was for me PlayStation, PlayStation 2 then straight on to Xbox 360. I've had a PlayStation 3 um, and I didn't get along with the UI, the user interface and I just prefer having party chat, that's all. I love the games on the console though. Uh, I completed Infamous, the first Infamous, and I thought, again, that actually ranks as like one of my favorite games. Maybe that's a question for next week. But um, but yeah, I really enjoy games and getting into gaming initially in the last few years, it's been more like FIFA, WWE games, all the GTA games. Um, there's a world out there of gaming and there are people doing inspiring things and new things. I mean, check out the indie games. There's some really bright ideas out there that are taking it away from the AAA you know, titles such as Call of Duty and inspiring me. And this is why I do this channel. I want to show you guys playing these different games, not just the Call of Duties, but like in my video that I'm just about to bring out, Half-Life 2. You know, it's a game that I never even looked at, and I played it for you guys, and I really enjoyed playing it. So, again, this is this is one reason why I want to keep doing this channel. Anyway, guys, just for a sign out, like I said, Fridays at 9pm, I'm going to be on Twitch TV, which is twitch.tv forward slash greenringgaming, 9pm UK time, and I've already decided that next Friday I'm going to play some FIFA online for you guys, uh, because it's a game I am good at and I feel comfortable playing. I also just bought, um, I might as well show off my new game that I got here. I got this. Yeah, Injustice. Haven't had a chance to play it. You know why? Because I've been so busy making videos for you guys. So let me know if you want me to play that at some point. Here's the rest. Actually, I might as well show you the rest of my collection. You guys know I have that one. And you guys know that I have that one and that new one. I still have Skyrim. This is my friend's game, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. I just bought this the other day. It contains Trials HD, uh, Limbo, and Explosion Man, which is a really good arcade game. I still have Borderlands 2. I'm thinking about doing a take a look on the DLCs that I haven't even looked at. And there's that, and I do have some bought PC games here. I have Guild Wars 2, however that got hacked, so I decided to just not bother with it anymore. Civ 5, check out my Civ 5 case there. And I have Skyrim on the PC as well, which I love. And you guys ain't going to get a chance to ask me this question. You're probably going to say to me, what's my favorite films? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. This is one of my favorite films, Super Bad. My other one being Step Brothers, so you don't even need to ask. Games that have a box on them, like a sleeve, they're so hard to put back. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video this week. Um, it's just a first edition, so it's just throwing it out there. Um, and let me know if you enjoyed it or um, found out any more about me that you didn't know. Um, questions for next week please and um, comments as well on what I could do differently could I do something different next week to make it more entertaining uh, like PewDiePie, Pewds does everything where you have to send in something and tell me go do this and I'm like oh crap okay I'll do it for you anyway thank you very much Ringlets and I will see you on This Week in Gaming ciao for now just gonna finish my cup of tea yes Ciao for now. That could be another catchphrase. High five! I can't fully cover the camera up with that, so um, take care.